Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read a very beautiful verse from the Bible as we read Mark 14 verse 3. Here it says, There came a woman having an alabaster box of ointment of spikenard, very precious. And she break the box and poured it on his head. Mark 14 verse 3. The very nature of God is extravagance. How many sunrises and sunsets does God make? Gloriously wasteful, O oh my Lord, art thou. Sunset faints after sunset into the night how many flowers and birds how many ineffable beauties all over the world lavish desert blossoms that only his eye see mary's act was one of the spontaneous extravagance mary of Bethany revealed in her act of extravagant devotion that the unconscious sympathy of her life was with Jesus Christ. She had done what she could to the absolute limit of what a human can do. It was impossible to do more. The only thing that Jesus Christ ever commended was this act of Mary's and he said, Wheresoever this gospel shall be preached throughout the whole world, that also which this woman had done shall be spoken of for a memorial of her, because in the anointing out, because in the anointing our Lord saw an extra exact illustration of what he himself was about to do. He put Mary's act alongside his own cross. God shall God shattered the life of his own son to save the world. Are we prepared to pour out our lives for him? Our Lord is carried beyond himself with joy when he sees any of us doing what Mary of Bethany did. Have I ever produced in the heart of the Lord Jesus what Mary of Bethany produced? She hath done what she could to the absolute limit. I have not done what I could until I have done the same. In the precious ointment poured on the feet of the master, is the precious ointment poured on the feet of the master ever wasted? Eternity will answer the question. The only way to keep a thing is to throw it away. Seeds which mildew in the garner Scattered, fill with gold the plain. To keep your treasure is to die. To lose it is to live. The angels keep the records in God's counting house. So give. Hallelujah. Yes, we have to give to the Lord with a whole heart and a happy heart. As 
we saw Mary who came with an alabaster box of ointment of spikenard, very precious, and she break the box and poured it on his head. Mark 14 verse 3. Yes, as a mighty God is present with you and me every second, every moment, he will deliver us of every problems, situations, and hard times. Yes, my dear brother, my dear sister, the word says in Matthew 6 verse 34, Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Enough are the cares of the day. Hallelujah. The word says in Matthew chapter 6 verse 28, Why take ye thought? Hallelujah. Yes, he is our Emmanuel, God with us. He is our Ebenezer, God will help us. And he is our Yahweh Ide, God will provide. Genesis 22 verse 14. Hallelujah. Yes, for there is nothing impossible for our living God. Yes, Luke 1 verse 37 also says the same thing. And the word says, as we read that he comes riding on heavens, on the excellency of clouds to help you and me. Deuteronomy 33 verse 26, 27 is true. The eternal God is our refuge. Hallelujah. Yes, he is our Emmanuel, God with us. He is our Ebenezer. God will help us is true. Yes, as we read in Psalm 121, it says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper, the Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. The Lord will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and for evermore. Hallelujah. Let us be encouraged and never quit in life. For Jeremiah 1 verse 5 says, Even before he formed us in the womb, he knew us. Yes. So let us give ourselves, commit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. He will take care of our past, present and future. Yes. He is our I am who I am. Exodus 3 verse 14 and Exodus 33 verse 14 says, As we read the mighty word, that my presence shall go with thee, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. Yes, and in all these things we are more than conquerors. Romans 8 37 is true. He is our mighty God, Prince of Peace, Everlasting Father, our wonderful Counselor. Yes, and he will bless us. The word is true as we read in Isaiah 9 verse 6. It was the prophecy of Lord Jesus Christ which has come true in the New Testament. Yes, let us revere his name and the Lord reigns. The word is true in Psalm 96 verse 10. Yes, for always say, Thy will be done. John 6 verse 38. And as the word is true, let us bless his name, for he daily loads us with benefits. Psalm 68 verse 19 is true. Yes, a mighty God will never leave us nor forsake us. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 is true. And he will lead us, guide us, help us, counsel us, 
watch over us and bless us. Psalm 32 is true in verse 8. Be encouraged, my dear brother, my dear sister, and never quit in life. Yes, let us praise our living God. That is what we can do and give. Let us be thankful to him. Let us pay the tithes as the Lord leads us. And also, let us walk in his light. For Jesus Christ is the light of the world, John 8, 12. And he is the way, the way, the truth, and the life, John 14, verse 6. And also, he has all power and authority in heaven and on earth. And even the evil spirits and demons shudder in the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth. Matthew 28 is true. God bless you. Let us pray for those who are on the sick bed. Abba, Father, touch my brother, sister, children who are on the sick bed. And we pray that you bless them and heal them. For with the wounds and the stripes that you suffered for us, you heal us. Isaiah 53 is true as we read in verse 10. You took our infirmities and carried our diseases. As we read the mighty word in Matthew 8 verse 17. Thank you for this time to pray and for loving us. Thank you for your presence with us. Give us the wisdom for our daily life and lead us, guide us and bless us. This prayer we ask in the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Numbers chapter 6, 24 to 27. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.